Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. We are starting SEBI IT memory based question series of year 2020. So as you all know that the latest examination for SEBI happened in 2020. That was the notification of year 2020 exam got concluded in year 2021 in the mid of 2021. So here we are bringing the memory based question series for 2020 year, uh, by which you can get an idea that what kind of questions are asked. So basically this particular memory based question series will try to give you a glance that how exactly the questions are asked in the examination. So these particular questions are of those categories or you can say are of those topics which are actually were there in the year 2020 examination were actual examination questions. There might be some changes in the options but the concept that SEBI has brought into the examination are exactly the same. So before uh, like trying anything out you should first give uh, your hands on on memory based question series and in this particular series we will be making several videos and we will be discussing five questions in a great detail so that you can get a clear understanding that how we are going to proceed and this is our first video for this particular series and in this series we are going to cover all the prelims examination questions that were asked in year 2020 as well as all the mains questions. So five coding questions that were asked in mains will be also uh, discussed here in the videos. So let's start with the first question. So this was the first question that Sebi asked and it was related to the scope of the variable. So you should be very much aware that what exactly a scope of variable is. So the question might be changed but as you can see this particular question belongs to programming concept which actually is of 30% weighted in phase 1. So this is a phase 1 question and in this question you will be given some statements and you have to pick that statement which is actually true about the scope of the variable. So here we have all these five options. Option 1 goes like inside a function or a block which is called local variable. Okay. So uh, if it is inside a function it will be called as local variable. In the definition of function parameters which is called as formal parameter. So all these two variables which are defined in the function parameter are called as formal parameters. Then the third one outside of all the function which is called as global variable. So if it is something which is outside so it will be called as global. So which of these is actually correct? So our answer will be option number four that is all three statements are correct. So this one holds true for your local uh, scope. This one is actually passed by value or passed by reference thing. And this particular thing is related to your global scope. So all these three are true and our answer here will be option number four that all of these are correct. So this was our first question for the day. After that thing coming to the second question you can see there the question is related to the tuple thing and this particular thing relates to the DVMS which account for 10% in the phase 1 examination and you have to identify which statement is correct when it is in regards to tuple. Okay, so you have to be clear what exactly a tuple is. So here options are like option number 1 is saying collection of objects which ordered are and immutable. So which are ordered basically we should have an R here. Collection of objects which are ordered and immutable. Then tuples are sequences just like list. They are enclosed within the parentheses and are not even within the square braces or all of these. So which of these is actually correct? So here again our answer will be all three are correct. So these all three are basically correct which will be giving you an idea regarding the tuple thing. So here I would like to correct myself that it is not related to DBMS. Basically it is related to programming concept again. So it is again a programming concept question where you have tuples. So tuples are basically some of what data structures like list. So if anybody is aware of the programming concepts in C++ or in Java, they might have been uh, encountering this particular tuple. So this is again a programming uh, concept question, not of the DBMS. Okay, I would like to correct myself there. After that thing, the third question is saying in the shell program, it starts with. So the shell program, it starts with what? So in shell the program starts with which of these? So actually in shell the program starts with hash uh, with the exclamation mark and then slash bin and then slash sh. So this is the thing that uh, make the starting of the program in shell programming. So this was related to the Unix which is actually of 5% in the phase 1. After that thing we are here with the fourth question and this question is related to 
what is true about the constructors and destructors again you can see it is a programming concept question which is actually of the 30 percent so you can see the questions which are related to the programming are very large in chunks in the phase one examination so what is true let's uh, read all the statement a constructor in c++ is a state is a special method that is automatically called when an object of a class is created a destructor is a member function that is invoked automatically when the object goes out of scope or is explicitly destroyed by call to delete so delete is a function by which you can also delete uh, explicitly the objects there the destructor has same name as the name of the class and preceded by a tilde sign a constructor has the same name as the class name and all of the true so here our answer will be all are true and answer number 5 will be true because all these things which are stated there for constructors and destructors are actually true so this was the fourth question now coming to the last question uh, for this particular video we are having commands that allow the rollback after the deletion so whenever we roll back so this is a dbms question related to the transaction and concurrency and here this particular topic encounter for 10 percent which is dbms basically so commands that allow the rollback after deletion is actually the rollback command so rollback command will allow you to roll back to the next um, previously saved thing okay so even if you have made a deletion then also you can roll back that particular thing so these were the five questions that were asked in the memory based uh, pattern of the sebi uh, 2020 we will make more such questions in the upcoming videos so keep uh, be updated with us stay with us to get all the 50 questions that were asked in the examination we are going to discuss all 50 but five at a time otherwise it will give you a load so now what you have to do actually if we have discussed five questions you got five topics and what you need to do you need to cover these topics in a great detail now you have to consider the transaction and concurrency in great detail you have to consider the rollback uh, thing explicitly in a great detail and also the scope of the variables then the unix uh, shell basics and then in great detail related to the destructor and constructors so you got five topics from this particular video if you see like that you have to prepare these five topics and by that meaning you will be covering your syllabus as well as the topics which are important from the examination perspective as well so this was all from my side see you in the next video if you like this video and you want us to continue to make these kind of video for your understanding give us your motivation and our motivation high by liking and subscribing to the channel do press the bell icon so that whenever we are going to upload such content you are getting the direct notification on your youtube okay so by that time see you in the next video keep practicing and stay updated